Hello, this is uh, Eric Granberg, President and CEO of Granberg International. We're out here today to demonstrate our top of the line grinder, our G1012XT, which is a combination of a 12 volt high speed grinder and our filing joint. So there's many ways to sharpen saw chain. The simplest way is just to use a file of the right diameter and freehand it. But that is fraught with problems because it's hard to control the angle and the height of the file itself. You can use a freehand grinder and, and you have similar problems, although it's probably much faster and gives a better edge. What we've done here is we've combined the speed and the fine edge given by a grinder with the accuracy of the filing joint. Now the filing joint sets the height of the stone and how much you take off the tooth and the top plate angle. There's adjustments for all of that on this tool. So you can duplicate factory sharpening To set up the 1012 for sharpening, there are three basic adjustments. There's the adjustment for tooth length, which is done here. There's an adjustment for the height of the grinding stone, which is done with this adjustment screw. The adjustment screw has numbers around the circumference. Each of the numbers represents ten thousandths of an inch. The additional adjustment you make is for the top plate angle. And that's done with the top plate here and this wing nut underneath it. Now, this is a 732nd 5.5 millimeter grinding stone, and that's the right diameter for 3 8 and 404 ripping chain. We're gonna make sure that it's adjusted correctly. I bring the stone in. It should just nest inside the arc of the sharpened portion of the tooth, and just barely touching the tooth. To the tooth, and just touch it and examine where the stone is cutting and make sure that it's just in the right place. And you can take and turn the tooth length gauge in a little bit until you just get it to be sharpening. Now I'm a little high so I'm going to come down. You see I'm just cutting, just sharpening the top here. I want to be all the way down in the gullet. I'm going to lower it down a little bit until I see it starting to cut now on the edge. That looks pretty good. Maybe just a little bit lower. 
Maybe just a little bit lower yet. There we go. So see how it's arcing all the way across and ca capturing the top edge and down below. So you just want to take off enough to sharpen the chain. You don't want to over sharpen it. Now I'm going to move to the next tooth up the same angle. Not that one, but this one. Take off the same amount because it's being stopped by the tooth length. The next tooth at the same angle. If you maintain your chain properly, all you got to do is like three or four strokes on it to get it back to factory sharpened. It's important because otherwise the chain could cut on a curve. If one side's longer, it'll take off more wood, and you don't want that, especially in ripping. So I've made up this simple little screw and nut device to measure the length of the chain. If you have something more expensive like a vernier caliper, you can use that. But this works as well. So I set it, I set it by adjusting the nuts and locking it in place for the length of the tooth I sharpened. And then I just check it against the one I just sharpened to see that it's the same length. Simple as that.